Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another live stream. In today's episode, we're going to be making the poor man's meal and we're going to be making some uh, creme brulee, right? Alright, well, something like that. We're going to be making our version of that. Um, so, without further ado, I don't want to waste too much time with the intro. Let's roll with the new intro because I got a brand new intro because the other intros kept getting uh, censored or what is it? getting me in trouble because of the music so we got some new music and i hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you guys in a few seconds Hey guys, all right. So, hope you guys are ready to start cooking. Um, I'm hoping that um, things are looking a little better on uh, your end over there because I've been working very hard on trying to just get the, the quality of the stream as high as possible, even though, you know, sometimes it's a little extra difficult because of, uh, you know, just the working conditions I'm under here. But I think we're doing pretty good. You know, we got, we got camera one going, we got camera two going, and we also got camera three going over there, which is always, on delay, uh, we got camera three, which is our GoPro and uh, our, you know, heaviest of duties of all <laughs> cameras. All right, so um, without further ado, we got Gizmo out there, you know, causing a ruckus already. Want to shout out to sh everyone that's uh, joining me on this, uh, you know, early Wednesday morning. Well, it's not that early already, right? It's uh, early afternoon. So let's get cooking because people are hungry and we got things to do. And uh, man, I don't know what's man. I, as soon as I start the show, it seems like Gizmo. You know, that's when he wants to start his own podcast. <laughs> so, anyways, but yeah, um, I even put a light over here. I don't know if you noticed. I got like a, an extra light in the back. All right, but I'm gonna see if I'm gonna need it or not. I think so because it's a little dark in this area. So when I start cooking and I put the the camera on the above you get what i'm saying like uh when i put the camera up here um in order to look at down at the at the stove um i, I noticed that it was a little dark in some areas so we're gonna see if we can fix that with some light all right let's uh, let's just get started and stop wasting time all right so you're gonna watch me on the other cameras as i go off this camera um and we're gonna go over here to my trusty little pantry you know what i mean that i built i don't know if you've noticed I got myself a little bit of a extra pantry and built the kitchen up a little bit better here and uh, doing better things. All right, so we're making poor man's meal. So let's just kind of get the ingredients out so you can get an idea of what we're going to be making today and then we're going to move on. We're going to be making the creme brulee first because that takes a little longer um, because it needs to set in the, in the fridge. But let's at least start getting some of these ingredients out so you guys that are joining me early, um, people that are watching from the very beginning, um, you guys can see what we're up to. So, uh, I'm going to start getting the ingredients out, and then uh, we'll go from there. In fact, let me bring this camera down, all right, so you can start taking a look at the ingredients. All right, so we got potatoes, one large onion, some garlic, okay? All right, so um, uh, we're going to, you know, hold on, we're going to need... <laughs> 
you know, making these live streams is not as easy, you know, as uh, one might think. Sure, I make it look easy because, you know, I enjoy this and this is fun and it is kind of easy for me. But, yeah, don't get it twisted. It's not easy, all right? So, uh, sometimes I, you know, it's like there's no double take, triple, you know, I can't just go cut and, and start over again. It's, uh, you know, whenever I mess up. We all mess up together. So we got some cut up hot dogs, all right? We're gonna cut these up in a little bit. And we got that chorizo from yesterday that we had left over. Remember when we made all those beans? Man, I made more beans than I thought. Man, anyways, anyone out there that wants some beans and there's out around here, let me know. We can maybe arrange something. Um, but the beans came out, they came out great, by the way, but they did come out a little extra watery, man. You remember yesterday when I was adding that extra water? I should not have added that extra water at the end, but because I just thought that the beans were gonna take longer to cook, Seem like those beans cooked like that. But anyways, the worst thing that happened is that we have extra beans now. It was still good. I had like three bowls of beans. I had to sleep in another room. That's another story. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put the, the meats away for now. I'm going to leave these potatoes and all that stuff out. Okay, because we're going to need them anyway. All right, so let's just kind of like leave them here on the table. But I'm going to put this back in the fridge so they're not out. Uh, as a matter of, you know what? I'll just leave them out here. It's not a big deal. It's they're semi frozen anyway, so at least the hot dogs. So we're gonna be cooking them early. Okay, quick. Okay, so let's start. I see there's some people in the chat, even though I see nobody in my chat. Oh, there we go. So did you? What did you like about the intro? Did you, I mean, did you like the intro? <laughs> I play drums. Play, yeah, he played. Yeah, uh, Hanson out there. Hanson is a part of the podcast. He's part of the the other half of the podcast. I'm about to stab the gizmo. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, gizmo. Hold on one second. Let me let me put a little bit more of the intro. I'm gonna fucking beat this dog. Rough, rough start. Literally, rough, rough. Fucking dog. Anyone's like... Okay. Okay, but any who's... So, yeah, I'm, uh, let's just get back to where we start. Okay, let's just start making... Let's just start cooking, all right? Because there's too many distractions, too many things going on. Like I was saying, Mike, I can't even see, you know, my thing over here, which might be a good thing. Okay, let's just get started. All right. I feel like I want to start over again. Honestly, I don't even gonna lie. I feel like I just want to fucking turn this off and start over again. But unfortunately, this is a live stream, and we cannot do that. So we're gonna make it happen. All right. So this is kind of like my makeshift recipe book that I started out when I was first starting this channel, and I just kept writing recipes in here. Um, so let's just go with what I got here. It's not that many things here, but we got vanilla pudding here. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right. So we're gonna go with my vanilla pudding. Maybe you guys can read my chicken scratch. Maybe not. It's all good. He's like, <laughs> do I recommend getting a dog? Yeah, I mean it's a plus in the minuses of having a dog. All right, let's just say that you just saw some of the minuses, you know, of having a dog. But the pluses are that you have a you know animal that will bite or probably kill somebody, you know, to protect you. So that's always good. And I have an aggressive dog. This guy is, you know. He kills many animals out here. Too many. <laughs> Anyways, thank God I'm in Mexico. I don't got to worry about shit. All right, so let's get to the vanilla pudding recipe, all right? So that's what we're going to be doing today. I was going to be making some creme brulee until I quickly realized, bro, I'm about to punch you in the head, bro. Sorry, I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> Anyways, I was about to make some creme brulee earlier today, but then I realized I don't have the special little ramekins. You know, the little, um, and I think most people don't have those ramekins. And so, therefore, um, you know, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing I can do about that. So, you know, unfortunately, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted there. So, therefore, hold on a second.
Mismo. What a disaster um, today's episode has been. Anyways, Jesus freaking Christ, man. I want to stab this dog. I, I don't even want to get into it. Anyways, so let's just start today's episode. You know what I mean? Because I have been spending how long already? Look at that. 10 freaking minutes. All right? Chasing my freaking dog around the freaking house in the kitchen because he wouldn't shut up. Chasing, I don't know, God knows what. So, but anyways, it is what it is. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm very frustrated. I mean, honestly, and I know, you know what? It's funny because, you know, there are people that enjoy this kind of content, you know what I mean? Which is this, whatever the fuck this is. So, all right, can we finally get started here? Can we, can we, can we please? Can we, can we? Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. I feel like... <laughs> and you want, and, and people wonder why chefs are so angry half of the fucking time. Don't you, I mean, most people don't even cook because they're fucking, you know, so frustrated with just about everything, let alone what's going on in the kitchen. You know, they want to kill something, so they just decide, you know, they're already stressed out enough with life and yada, yada, yada. You notice that a lot of people that usually get into kitchens have anger problems and anger issues, okay? I'm, I'm one of them. And this is you know, one of the ways in which I can help me uh, kind of like, um, you know, release some of that, you know, anger. Um, because, you know, it's a lot of energy. It takes a lot, you know... Um, to do all this, all right? So let's get started, all right? So let's get the ingredients. Ingredients I need for this are gonna be sugar. We're gonna be making the vanilla pudding, all right? Let me finish my story on the vanilla pudding. I was gonna make the creme brulee, but unfortunately I couldn't make the creme brulee because I realized that I needed these ramekins, and then I also realized that most of you guys out there do not have those ramekins. And since you don't have those ramekins, well, that's a recipe that a lot of people would like to have, but or make but you know it takes a lot it takes a lot to make these things and uh, so I said you know what let me see if I can quick you know figure out another alternative and the other alternative in this case you know um, was let's get some um, let's you know the alternative in this case was let's hey let's make uh, let's make some vanilla pudding it's basically almost the same thing and then what we're gonna do is make it a creme brulee and we're gonna do that tomorrow so you know, today we're going to be making the vanilla pudding, a.k.a. creme brulee, all right? Which is, again, it's just a custard, okay? An egg custard, all right? Flavored with vanilla in this case. And uh, and then we're going to get that egg custard, and then later on we're going to put a candy shell, all right? A nice, yummy candy shell on top of it to make it extra deliciously yummy. You know what I mean? Oh, I like that. The nice and peace and quiet. You know, also... You know, maybe I shouldn't have smoked that whole blunt before I started the show. I don't think that helped either. But anyways, I digress. By the way, if you want your I digress t-shirts, you know, you can click down the links below, you know, help to support the show. Um, shout out to everyone out there that helps support the show. I hope you guys are enjoying this shit show so far. You know, uh, shout out to Christian for helping me, uh, you know, uh, wrangle the fucking dog. And uh, I appreciate, you know, um, her getting that that guy yeah the ramsey face says she knows rah, you know <laughs> she knows how angry i can get all right anyways by the way all right so let's just get started all right so let's just get all the ingredients all right let's get all these ingredients together all right i don't want the music to be too loud i just want to be a little music in the background jeez i cannot see anything i'm so blind it's so bright okay as it gets started here. Okay, so let's just start getting the ingredients together for this. Um, basically, it's not that many ingredients, all right? It's sugar, cornstarch, salt, milk, egg yolks, all right? And milk, all right? So that's it. I mean, that's a very, very easy vanilla pudding that anyone can make. I haven't made this in a while, but let's give it a shot. I'm here trying to tie my, uh, my thing again. Shout out to all the Russian bots. We got a lot of Russian bots in there. Thank you to everyone watching me, watching this uh, 
this crap show. Okay, let's do this. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully somebody's out there making clips out of this uh, crap show. <laughs> All right, let's just get the ingredients out. All right, it says uh, three egg yolks, but I kind of like to use extra egg yolks. In fact, let me, uh, let me hold the camera over here. We got these eggs flying everywhere here. All right, let me see if I can uh, move the, the, the GoPro so you guys can see my egg cracking of the face. All right. In fact, I got a new camera angle. Yeah, let me show you guys. You got it? And then we got, look at this, check this out. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come on. Oh, geez. Man, today is uh, just one of those days. Why isn't it working? Neither one's working. Okay, we got that because I got the zoom. See, that's supposed to be zoomed in. I don't know why it's not zoomed in. Jesus, man. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I, I need... Uh, today, we need them. I'm sorry, but we need the freaking... Uh, the sound effects. And of course, I can't find them. <laughs> But today is uh, one of these days. Bruh. This is, my God, this is like the worst live stream I've done in a while. Holy crap. You can't even make this up today. I don't know what's going on here. At least you guys are enjoying something. Shout out to all of you. Here playing with my computer instead of playing with my my eggs, my egg yolks. Anyways, all right, we got people. We got even people on the Facebooks and the the Discord. We got people on Twitch. We got people everywhere. Shout out to all of you. I appreciate you. Bruh. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so. Let me get the egg yolk recipe, the egg yolks re uh, ready. Man, I really don't understand why my GoPro thing isn't working. I'm so kind of like upset. Oh, there we go. Yay. Okay. Hey, man, I spent a long time working on that yesterday. Jesus. Look, and there we go. Here we go again, cutting off. What's going on? Hmm. I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta figure that out. Maybe there's just too much going on. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, man, you have no idea the the technical know-how one must have in order to set this whole thing up. But anyways, my eggs. All right, those are my eggs. All right. So what we're going to do real quick is just crack these guys. I want to get these guys out of the way. So, you know, when I'm making uh, anything like any custardy type thing, I love adding extra egg yolks. I just, um, I just love it, you know what I mean? Like, um, the, the egg yolks really is what make the dish. Some people like less egg yolk, some people like more egg yolk. I like, you know, I like a nice, uh, nice amount of egg yolk in there. Let me see. Let me see, hold on, let me see, how's the camera? Where can you guys see? All right. I'm gonna move it a little bit more here. So far, so good, I think. Right, so we're gonna do the egg yolk thing, okay? So basically, remember, we crack it on a flat surface. We're gonna crack it in this case, all right? As you guys can see there, over my hand, all right? And then they go from hand to hand, all right, from hand to hand, until we get the, ta -da, you see, let's do it again. Flat surface. All right, we'll do it on the hand. And I got it closed, but you know, also like barely open. You know what I mean? Just to have it a little open, like my fingers a little open, just to let that egg yolk, I mean the egg white down. Now, 
if you want, you could save the egg white. I was gonna do that, but then I realized, what the fuck am I gonna save the egg white for? There's nothing I need it for. Okay, so this one cracked, so we're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and messier, but we can still say we're trying to get that yolky part, okay? So it's okay if there's a little bit of the white, it's not gonna kill the dish, but that's not what we're trying to do here. And then, you know why that one broke? It's because I hit it here on the edge like an idiot. I wasn't listening to myself, so flat, okay. Okay. All right, we got the full boom, all right? And let's just go for a full blown. Because I think the recipe, you know, is calling for like bigger eggs and these eggs are a little small. They're on the smaller side, so whatever. And again, this is what, remember, recipes are just a guide. Let me go throw this in the compost. Give me one second. But as I was saying, recipes are just a guide. And you can make it what you want. All right? You can do what you want. Hey, let me just wash my hands. Do I not have uh, that much salmonella? <laughs> anyway, all right, let me, uh... all right, so the Zoom worked somewhat. That's great. Okay. It's awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got the egg yolks to the side. So yeah, shout out to everyone. By the way, whoever made it late, you didn't miss a thing. So it's actually good that you made it late. Good save, good save. Okay, so we got the egg yolks. In fact, since I'm gonna have the extra egg yolk in there, I think what I'm gonna do is add a little extra, just a little bleach, bleach water here. Huh? that get that out of the way so anyways but I think that's what we're gonna end up doing is um, supporting the angry chef <laughs> no, let me back this up a little bit be better angry chef supporting okay so okay Go ahead and, and have your fun. Have your fun, guys. Enjoy yourselves. All right, so I'm just getting all the ingredients kind of out and together, okay? So that way we can, uh, you know, we can have, it'll be easier to, to make this come together. All right, so I'm going to put this camera here so you guys can see what's up. Okay, so we got... Okay, we got the milk. All right, we got the egg yolks. Let's get that sugar. So we're gonna start mixing all the ingredients together. Start getting everything together. So let's just start making this, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get the bowl. I need some bowls. All right, so let me see. Okay, because I forgot, I haven't made this in a while. So I'm gonna mix the sugar, the cornstarch, and the salt together first, right? And then you whisk in the milk and the eggs. Okay, and then we mix in the milk and the eggs. Okay, so we'll do that there. We'll get, we'll save. Let's clean this up real quick. Let's just get the milk in here. Okay, so yeah, I'm just trying to get all the ingredients together, ready to go. Okay, so it's a, two cups of milk. And by the way, you know, some people use, you know, things like heavy cream or what have you, you know what I mean? Um, again, there's many variations to these recipes here. So. And with a little extra milk there. Okay. 
We're gonna need a quarter cup of milk on the side because that's the initial mix, all right? You'll see. Let's just get that ready. We can't get that milk out the way. We got Gizmo going at it again. All right, um, a third of a cup of sugar. <laughs> Okay, so let's just uh, let's uh, start this process over here. <laughs> he's like a he's like a bad child, man. Like a bad child. All right. In fact, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna strap this thing to my head. I think it'll make it easier. What do you guys think, huh? So you can get the the bowl. <laughs> but yeah, today, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I mean? It's like a like almost like a wash. I feel like uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm playing the football game. And I just had like Tom Brady score like 35 points on me in the first quarter. We're still in the first quarter. We're like not even halfway through the first quarter. And Tom Brady already scored like, uh, you know, a lot of points on the team. So it's like, you know, we're going to try and just salvage the game. Hopefully it's not an embarrassing loss, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, we're going to take the L if that's what, what we, we get out of this episode today. We're like champs. But I think I think we can pull out a win. We can still pull out a win because uh, hopefully they'll pull pull Brady out, you know, by the before the second quarter starts, um, and we can still have a chance here. Or maybe they can just stop the bleeding. All right, so let's uh, let's get back and stop talking about sports that nobody cares about. A third of a cup of sugar. So since we had a little extra egg yolk, I'm gonna go with adding a little extra stuff in here as well. So you know, we, this is a, a third of a cup, so we're gonna go a little over a third, all right? Because who doesn't like sugar, especially in something like this, right? So let's just go with a little extra, okay? And by the way, you know, most of these recipes, you know, um, like when we're making a custard, remember, it's not baking. A custard is still kind of like in the cooking range scenario, cooking uh, spec spectrum, so you can kind of like play with uh, <coughs> the measurements a little bit in this case. You know, meaning, you know, we're adding a little extra egg yolk, let's add a little extra milk, let's add a little extra sugar, you know, just to balance it out a little bit, okay? So let's get the sugar, I'm gonna put this to the side. All right, I know I got you guys strapped to my head. Hopefully, it won't make you guys too busy. It says a quarter teaspoon of salt, so half of this. Let's just get the salt in there. Okay, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, so the cornstarch, that's really kind of what's going to pull this thing together. Traditionally, you would not add cornstarch to something like a creme brulee. There was no such thing as, a, you know what I mean, as cornstarch. Um, it would just be the egg yolks. And so that's why I, I traditionally add a little extra egg yolk to my mixture because the egg yolk is the cornstarch. It's the binder. It's really what's kind of throwing this thing together. So, we got the, the cornstarch over here. So you guys wanna hear something? Back in the day when I used to work in the kitchens, in these hot, sweaty, humid, disgusting kitchens, um, people, you know, a lot of us cooks, um, we used to, so it's two tablespoons, I'm gonna go a little more, okay? So, anyways, a lot of uh, the chefs or the cooks, you know, before they go to work, you know, meaning before the shift starts, like officially, you know, they'll, they'll take a, cu a few minute break, whether they can go to the bathroom or they do it back in the pantry or whatever, and they'll powder their balls with cornstarch. Yeah, you heard me. Because it's so hot and humid and, and you know, disgusting. You know, um, the powder um, down there, you know, within that region helped uh, kind of keep it down, keep that, uh, that whole situation under control. Some people needed it more than others. Um, I myself never powdered my balls. I can actually say that. Um, there's tons of ball powders out there. So every time I see, every time I, I, 
I have cor every time my cornstarch enters in my life, like right now, we got cornstarch. I always remember all the people powdering their balls with cornstarch. So never, you're now you're never gonna forget that. All right, see, that's what I'm saying. Look, boom, touchdown, poof. That's all we just did there. Boom, touchdown. We're still making this a game. We're gonna make it a game, okay? So, 30 to seven. All right, we're good. Boom. All right. So, okay, we got those ingredients mixed in there. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What am I doing? Let me get this. So they got the... <laughs> it's comedy gold, Jerry. Comedy gold. Look, hopefully the the head cam isn't driving you guys too crazy. All right? All right, so we got the sugar ingredients. So we got the sugar, corn starch, and salt ready. Okay, we got that here. Okay? Now, in the next bowl, we have uh, the egg yolks. Okay, so let's get these egg yolks real quick. And let's just mix this up, okay? Because we don't we wanna we wanna have this already kind of ready to go. We don't want any like pieces of chunky egg in there. There's an easy way to can we just kind of knock this out here. Okay. Alright, so we get all the ingredients ready. Now let's assemble this and put it together, okay? Assemble this shit and put it together. Okay, so heat for what am I heating? I think it's heating, right? Mix da, 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 number two, whisk in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, geez. Like I said, I haven't made this in a while. Like, I can't. I gotta read my own recipe. I don't even know what the hell I wrote down there a while ago. All right, how are we gonna make this? Uh, what, where did I make this before? I think I did a double boiler, right? Is that what I did? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. Or was it like, uh, man? I know I had a smaller pan. I think I returned it to grandma. Oh no, the other pan. I returned it. I don't have it with me. All right, let's see. I need a saucepan. Damn. I need a saucepan. Man, today is... <laughs> what a disaster, bro. What a fucking disaster. Today has been... My God. On every level. All right, you know what? We're going to do... No, double boiler's not going to get to the, the heat that I need. You know what? We're going to have to go with a big mama jam. Fuck, man. I don't want to use this pot. Bro. I really don't have a choice. All right, so... All right, let me uh, get this camera and strap it, man. Today is, bro, Brady just scored another score on me. So now it's 37 to seven again, Jesus. It's not good, it's not looking good today, guys. No, don't tell me, how long have we been streaming already? Half an hour? And we don't got anything going? I would have been fired. If I was in a kitchen, like an actual kitchen already, like, bro, you've been clocked in for half an hour and all you've been doing is, is gather three ingredients together, you got nothing done, you're fired. So, FYI. I'm, I've, I've uh, thank God, I'm just, thank God I'm just live streaming and we're having fun with this today. But holy crap, all right, let's turn this light on. Let's see if this works. So that's too hard. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just mix all the ingredients together. So, let me see. Okay, so before we get that too hot, all right, I don't wanna mess that up. Okay, so what we're gonna do real quick here is just mix all the ingredients together in this bowl. All right, so as you already saw, we have, you know, the sugar, the cornstarch, and the salt, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is add, where did I put my whisk? Okay, we're gonna add, a quarter cup of milk, okay? So just a little over a quarter cup of milk, all right? And we're gonna whisk this in. Hey man, what a, what a disaster today. I wanted to start off like a really good episode and I, I ruined it with Gizmo. Gizmo got me out of, uh, out of whack. This guy's not getting any treats today. No treats for Gizmo today. All right, so we're gonna try and salvage this, all right? 
So once we mix all that in together, all right, There we go, better, okay. Once we mix all that together, all right, now we're gonna add the eggs, all right, the egg yolks. Yeah, I need a saucepan. I used to have this other pan and I got rid of it and I just realized I needed it right now because that's the pan I would normally make this in. Um, but I don't want, I mean, but I need to get a, I need to get an actual saucepan. So, what a disaster. All right, so we're just mixing this, okay? As you guys can see there. All right, because, but the real reason we go, the reason we do that first All right, is because it'll be easier to mix. Okay, now after we've added all that, now we add the, the rest of the milk, okay? My God. Where's my, my rag? My milk. Okay, so now we got this mixture together, all right? Let's hope this comes out. I'm a little scared of using this pot, but you know what? We gotta use that pot, all right? That's what we gotta do. We gotta power through, all right? We've already invested too much into this. <laughs> okay. Jesus, man. Man, maybe I should've powdered my... What happened? Hello. Oh no, hey, am I still streaming? What the hell happened? Everything just disappeared off the screen. Oh no, my laptop just farted. Well anyways, hopefully nothing, man, you think we're, we're good. I think we're back. I, I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like getting back into bed and starting over again, but I know that this should be some quality content at the very least. Again, this is real content, you know, this is what you know, you would be going through maybe at home and you still gotta power through one way or the other. If you're working in a professional kitchen, you gotta power through one way or the other. There's no excuses, all right? So, now let's move, okay, now we're done here, all right? Let's move to, to this side over here. In fact, let me get the, the GoPro camera. Okay, I think we're back here, so. All right, one second, guys. It's still there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, because I got the, I zoomed in. I got another camera angle. Oh, okay, let me see. All right, so you can see better. That's the idea here. So what we're gonna do now, <clears throat> all right, I think we're good, all right. We got this, we got this. All right, there we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just dump all this in here. You know, make sure you get all that sugar from the bottom. Now you're gonna, I, need, I need a lot of luck from you guys. I need more, a lot of luck. So. So the other ingredients that we're gonna need here. I don't know why it's sideways like that. Anyways, the other there we go. The other ingredients that we're gonna need here are 
are a little butter and vanilla. So I'm gonna get that butter and vanilla out. All right, so right now I got this on medium down here, all right? start getting thick right now it's still a runny mess so it's no big deal in the meantime I'm gonna be cutting up a little bit of butter so about three tablespoons four tablespoons of butter we're gonna add four in this case cut up into small little pieces you'll see it as I put it in there oh but yeah some butter cut up into little pieces um, and that's gonna and we're gonna add that way at the end and that's gonna you know and make it like extra yummy and velvety so I'm just I'm cutting up a little bit of butter right now on the side while you're watching okay so it's gonna take a little bit of a minute I wouldn't suggest you take your eye off of it and you're constantly on it. So, in fact, let me, let me switch here. All right, so we're gonna need plastic, all right? So, we got that and this. So let's just go with this so we're not really scraping the bottom. This is why I have things like this plastic, all right? But don't leave it in here because it'll melt, all right? Just like anything else. But we just gotta kinda keep, all right? And so slowly, remember, this is on low, Slowly but surely, this is going to be mixing and mixing and mixing until eventually we have our desired product, okay? It's going to get thick right in front of your eyes. Oh. All right. Okay. Man, shout out to all of you guys out there watching, hanging out with me today. <laughs> yeah, see, look, the thing is, it's like, uh, you know, now, hold on, let me, uh... <laughs> let me, so yeah, guys, you know, shout out to everyone in the chat. I'm not going to lie, and I mean, going through whatever, what I went through earlier on in the show, um, it sucked for me on my end, but I'm not going to lie. I, I know it has to be quality fucking content, like amazing content, like funny as hell content. Because I don't want to go look back at the, you know, crap show that was the beginning of today's episode. What a disaster. <laughs> but again, um, it's about those moments, you know what I mean? Like honestly, I'm not going to lie. It's about those moments where people, you know, kind of want to watch a lot of these live streams, no matter what anyone's doing. Um, in this case, it was just a mild case of dog uh, being crazy and dumb. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's focus on this. Okay. We cannot be unfocused. Okay. Let's focus on this for a minute because this. Okay. We're already. Okay. Now it's already. You see a little bit of the the steam is coming off of that. I think you guys can see it there. So it's already starting to get. Oh man, come on, there you go. Yeah, I gotta fix that zoom situation. Anyways, okay, it's starting to warm up. So now as it's warm, remember this is milk, all right? And this will burn and you're done. You gotta throw it away. So right now we're just slowly, you know, just mixing it, making sure, you know, again, when I, see, look, you see how it's already turning into something down there? So at this point, you see that we're starting to get a little thick so at this point now we switch over okay and we go like this so that we're constantly kind of like scraping the bottom but we're not it's not going to burn okay now the reason i didn't do a double boiler on this is because this thing needs to get to a certain temperature 
and the double boiler will not get it to that temperature. Again, I'm hoping that this will work here. I'm guessing it will. But it's already starting to thicken up, you know, slowly, a little slower. I'm going, I'm erring on the side of caution here. And uh, going uh, on low, on the low heat here. Thick and that it's constantly doing its thing there, you know what I mean? I think you guys can see. Alright, we're good. So yeah, like I said, I got this on low, and so I needed this at a higher temperature than I was ever gonna get, you know, with uh there we go. Look how it's getting nice and thick real quick, okay? Look at that. Okay, we're getting there. So now I'm gonna really put it on low. Now I'm gonna put it on super low, as low as this thing is gonna go. How low can you go? How low can you go? So now you see the spatula. You see it's not it's not sticking, okay? It's getting nice and thick. But again, not too thick. Remember. Okay. Yummy yummy and the tummy. So again, we're gonna make sure you get all the edges, scrape everywhere. Okay, velvety smooth. We're almost there. We're not, not quite. Okay, but you see, look. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna put this on low. Okay, we already had it on low, but okay. So at this point, now we're adding that butter that I told you about. Okay. You see, yeah, this makes that nice and velvety smooth. Again, the reason we're just mixing and continue mixing is to make sure, we took it off the heat for one minute. I want to make sure that it does not burn. It's constantly cooking no matter what. Okay, so we mixed that real quick there. All right, we still got the burner on. I just want to add uh, the vanilla extract. I want to make sure I don't leave it on the heat and burn it. So, said one tablespoon of vanilla, so we'll just go with that. I don't want to add too much vanilla, so I feel like sometimes it overpowers it. Even though this is vanilla pudding after all. So put it back there on the heat for a minute. And by the way, this is a, the most simplest vanilla pudding recipe you can make. Okay? But you see, that's why I don't like adding that vanilla. You see, the, it changed the color a little bit. It made it a little, little darker. It's okay, though. It's fine. I could add food coloring to this if I want to make it more yellow, if I wanted to. But anyways, I'm turning this off, all right? This is already off. In fact, I am going to do that. I'm going to do what my grandma probably would do in this case, making this at home. Man, come on. Yeah, but for whatever reason, it's a little more yellow. So, I'm gonna go one, two, three, five. All right, five little drops. Okay. It's just natural food coloring, no big deal. Just to brighten it up. It's yellow, you see? Make that nice, there we go. That nice yellow pudding color flavor. Look, there we go, now, we go. now, now it looks now, now it looks a lot more like pudding. Right? Mucho better. So yeah, right now all we're doing is just making sure everything is mixed thoroughly, all right? But we're, we're already turned off. Okay, so we're done. Okay, 
So let me give me one second. Let me get a the proper container real quick. Actually. Let's uh, switch it real quick. Okay. <coughs> Hold on, let me let me get the cameras ready one second and then I'll just keep it on that. Oh jeez. There we go. Uno segundo. Bye. Yeah, but I want you to see a little easier here of what's uh, what we're doing. Okay. All right. So as you can see here, we have a few camera angles. All right. So because I want to show. So what we're doing now is that we're gonna get a bowl. All right. We got a bowl and we got a strainer. All right. And we're gonna put. Okay, the bowl and the strainer like that because we're now gonna strain this. This is to add the extra level, the last little level of, you know, awesomeness, okay? Because, um, you know, no matter what, you know what I mean? No matter how awesome of a job you think you did, most likely, um, you know, most, yeah, think, yeah, you can see that, right? Okay. Yeah, sorry, just trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing on the camera. Anyways, yeah, because no matter what, at the end of the day, there's still, you know, some level of uh, lumps or what have you that could uh, arise. So this is to make sure that your pudding is as smooth as the butter that we added in there. All right, so right now, we're just gonna simply, uh, you know, again, you know, we're gonna get this, scrape everything. Remember, scrape, scrape, scrape. This way these spatulas are the best, and we're just gonna put this through. Okay. Nice and velvety smooth. See, look, that's why I like cooking, because I'm not perfect at, like, a lot of things. But I'm, I know I'm pretty good at the cooking, and no matter how much I fuck up... Like, again, I'm, today's episode started off like a super disaster. But still managed to save it. We still might be able to win the game. Believe it or not, greatest comeback of all time. Some might say it was an accident. Okay. It's like, stick to cooking, bro. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So, listen, we scraped every little bit off of there that we could. Okay. And tada. So again, all this does is, like I said, just make sure that your pudding is as smooth as possible. You don't have to do this last step, but I would highly recommend it. Now let's taste it to see if it's any good. Let's, uh... Mmm. 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 Mmm, 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 mmm. So good, so good. Mm. Oh wow. Surprisingly good, even better than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that, it paid off to, to keep going. This is the best vanilla pudding I think I've made. Look at that, holy crap. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is that we do have a lot of these cups, okay? We got tons of these little cups here. So I'm just gonna line, line them up. Hopefully I got enough. What is that? I'm gonna be outside. Whatever, okay. Let me see. I'm gonna get more. <laughs> All right. And so, how many is this? It's eight, all right? So let's see, we're gonna see if we can pour these guy out.
So now we're gonna just simply, you know, give this uh, one last mix mix. Yeah, I gotta get like a maybe half and half camera here, right? Just mix, 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 mix. Okay, and now we're gonna pour these in there. So let's work smart. Mm, I don't know if I wanna. Mm. What's the best way to pour these guys out without. Let's, uh, let's use this. Let's use the measuring cup, okay? Yeah, sorry guys, one second. Today's disastrous show has been brought to you by these, okay. So what we're gonna do is just fill this with pudding. Okay, mm-mm-mm. And then fill. I got pudding all over the fucking camera here. Again, I don't know if we're gonna need all these. All right, so again, you know, we're just pouring this. So we made five, that's good enough. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, it's so good. So good, man, this really tastes really good. Not better than what I thought it was gonna come out today. So yeah, we're filling this, you know, kind of to like the little tippy top here. This is, uh, this is for the chef, right? Let's try this out. Five servings of I don't know how many that is. I got like vanilla something in this now. It's like the worst. The worst thing you want to get into something like this is like uh Yeah, sorry the camera's moving too much here. Is uh right. any kind of milk product. Alright, so that's that. That's the end of the creme brulees aka vanilla pudding. So what we're actually going to do here is that we're actually going to see if we can smooth out the tops. So that way, once it gets like hard, 
we got a smooth little top. I just thought of this right now because I figured if we're gonna be making creme brulees, AKA we're gonna be adding uh, uh, caramel sugar to this later. You know, we're gonna add sugar to this later. Um, maybe to have the, the smoothest finish on top as possible. So that way it'll be easier for the candy shell to form over the top. You follow? You get my my thinking there. That's the idea. Okay. Just even it out a little bit. Because now, these are going into the fridge. And tomorrow, we're gonna be making that, that candy shell for them. So yummy. All right, so now let's put these away. Let's put all this away into the, okay? Into the fridge. Let me uh, put it in like a container. I think it'll be better, right? Smarter, let me see. That's a 10, one, two, three, four, five. Put one in the middle to balance them out. All right, they're not jumping around too much. All right, so that's it. We got them in here, as you guys can see. All right, so we're gonna put these in the in the fridge to let them cool. In fact, let me cover them as well. Let me cover them with um, a little plastic wrap. Man, what a disaster today, man. Holy crap. The disaster continues. All right. So this plastic wrap, mm, a lot of it, the reason I'm putting this plastic wrap on is because I'm trying to avoid the little skin on top. You know the little skin that You know, a little skin that usually forms on top of pudding. I'm trying to avoid that, again, to make the creme brulee tomorrow. Because if I, uh, if I let that skin on, I don't know how it's gonna really react. Because remember, creme brulee is a little different. This is vanilla pudding we're making here. And we're putting a little sugar topping on top. So we're, it's kind of like a, like a mix. This guy die already? The GoPro's dead. All right, hold on. What's the other? No, something up there. All right, so we got the pudding done. Whew! All right, crisis avoided there. Man, what a disaster beginning of the show there. And shout out to all the bots. I don't know why there's so many Russian bots and so many, you know, robots hanging out with me in the kitchen, but shout out to all of you. Okay, so we got the vanilla pudding done. Hooray. Hooray. Okay, so let, let me clean up real quick, all right, because I have stuff everywhere. And then once we clean up, we will get to the 
we will get to the next step. So anyway, shout out to all of you guys that, you know, stuck with me <laughs> throughout the throughout the, the, the situation here. We had, I think we had fun. It was a lot of fun for me. So that's uh and so yeah, right now, look, we have a lot of dishes. I think I'm gonna take care of these dishes before we move on to the next scene. All right, we will be talking over here, all right? But it will be, um, I will be having to, you know, get these dishes done because it's gonna drive me crazy, man. All right, because after this, we're gonna be making the poor man's meal, okay? So poor man's meal's coming right up, all right? We, we just have to get the dessert out the way. The luxurious dessert. Shout out to everyone out there. Anyway, shout out to everyone like Lodak and Hanson and the wifey and everyone that's watching out there. Shout out to everyone out there. And bros, shout out to you. Shout out to Cindy. Shout out to who else we got out there? A bunch of other people. Shout out to everyone. And shout out to everyone watching on Facebook, watching on Twitch, watching on every other, you know, situation that we have out there. Shout out to all of you guys. Awesome. Okay. So we got all this out of the way. Things done. All right. So join me real quick. Let me see. Hold on one second. Let me see how this is. Uh... All right. But anyway, shout out to all the all the Russian bots. I had no idea there were so many Russian bots out there. I'm glad, I'm glad I made a lot of you guys laugh out there. You know, again, you know, this is entertainment, man, more than anything else. So the whole, the whole thing that we're doing here is just pure entertainment. All right, so what we're going to do now is just going to wash some dishes. Um, if you guys have any questions, have any comments, you guys ever want to talk to me about anything, please feel free to, look at that, feel free to hit me up down there in, in the in the chat, and we'll get to you in a second. So, all right, let's uh, switch to the GoPro. Oh, wait, actually, we got to get the GoPro back online first. And then we're going to switch over there, do the dishes really quick, and then we're going to move on to the poor man's meal. Actually, uh... You know what? Let's just move on to the poor man's meal, bro. I don't got time for all that. You guys, you guys don't got time for that either. So just one second. Let me just. Uh... We'll do the dishes later, man. That's gonna take way too much time, and I would rather not. I just do it with you. But yeah, so many Russian bots. I don't know. I had no idea. Oh, by the way, I, I think I know where they're coming from. I think they're coming from Slovenia. And you're like, what? How do you know they're coming from there? Well, because when I look back at the analytics of these videos so far, um, there's a lot of people watching from Slovenia. So I'm guessing. That's where the bots are coming from because I was watching, I was looking at the, at the analytics and I'm like, who the fuck is watching this from Slovenia? It's the USA, Mexico, and Slovenia. 
I had no idea there were so many Slovaks out there, you know, that enjoyed my content. Shout out to those Slovaks. You know, shout out to all the Slovaks out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little coffee. Man, the coffee's freezing cold. Today has been, okay, so now let's just get to the Poor man's meal, okay? Um, I'm, I'm just waiting a second so I can get the, the GoPro back on, but we'll get the GoPro in a second. Um, what we're gonna do here really quick is that we're actually just gonna get all the ingredients together. Once we get all the ingredients together, we'll just put them together, okay? So, super crazy, simple dish, all right? So, um, oh, there it is, okay. So that's what we, I just need something to put the potatoes in. So first thing we're gonna do is get the veggies out the way. All right. So again, poor man's meal. Basically, potatoes, potatoes. All right. Onion. All right. A little garlic. All right. Let's just like not a lot, just a little bit for flavor. In fact, no garlic. I forgot. I never put garlic in this. In fact, no garlic, no garlic, no need for garlic, all right? Onion, all right? So let's just get this going real quick, all right? We already know is peel this onion. And this is a quick and simple meal, guys. Quick and easy meal. Oh, that's right. Let me get the GoPro multitask here real quick. So again, this is wash the onion. You gotta wash all your veggies, all right? Wash the potatoes real quick, then a little scrub. Now, I'm, I'm making a little extra today because it's for me and the wife. Normally, a lot of times when I would make this dish, I would just make it for myself. And so therefore, if you're just cooking for one person, you're gonna make a little less. But it's, uh, it's about the same, you know? I don't know how hungry you are out there. But I would probably make it with three potatoes for myself. So let's just get this, uh, start working on this while we wait for, um, the GoPro to connect again. People came, Bogani says. <laughs> Christian's like, oh, I hope the potatoes are good because she went to go get me some potatoes before the show started. <laughs> You're like, uh-oh. So let's see, let's just play it out. Let's play it by ear here. Um, Oops, sorry, because it is one of those days after all, right? So. Shout out to Christian, you know, for helping out the, the show by uh, taking care of Gizmo and uh, getting me the potatoes. <laughs> all right, connect, 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 come on. It always takes the longest when you're in the biggest of the hurries, right? Right, so hopefully it should be launching. There we go. Okay, so let's just uh, cut these guys up real quick, right? So um, diced, all right? 
nice little dice, nothing crazy, all right? So again, this is a poor man's meal. The reason we call it that is because, well, very, it's very easy to figure out why. As you can already see, it's uh, something anyone can make. Very, very cheap. And it's, it's very good. I mean, who doesn't like potatoes and, and hot dogs and, and sausage and all that shit? So, okay, we're going to cut the... So far, so good with the potatoes. But this is a super quick, simple, easy meal anyone can make. All right? Again, that's what we're trying to do here. You know, sometimes we're going to be making the more complicated dishes, you know, for, for sure. Because I know you guys like those. And, but, you know, and so, and depending on who you are and your cooking level is, you know, some things are already more complicated. Like the beans are probably complicated. This is something you could probably do. Because I cut this up, you know, I cut these potatoes up pretty quickly, but I know for some people this might be a bit more of a challenge. Alright. So far, so good. It looks like these potatoes are okay. And again, you know, potatoes, you know, they saved me uh, like a whole race of people, you know, AKA the, the Irish and shit, you know, that's like a true story. You know, these potatoes, they actually, again, they come from Peru, that part of the world. And there's a zillion varieties of potatoes. And I think we're going to leave this one. That's, uh, that's, uh, I think I feel like we already got a lot of potatoes in there. All right, so this is extra potato, but that's okay. They cook now. So let's just get these potatoes in a bowl. All right, get them in some water real quick. Let's get a little bit of that starch off in here. Washing them and rinsing them, you know, make sure um, it runs clear, all right? That the liquid runs clear on that. Anyway, shout out to everyone out there. Oh, oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Lodak. I appreciate you talking to them in German or <laughs> Russian or whatever the fuck. All right. So now let's just get all the other ingredients. All right. We already got the potatoes. All right. Let's get the onions. All right. Just one large onion, large medium onion. And just chopped it up, you know, uh, some like medium dice. It's funny because today, at the, like, um, okay, yesterday, after the show was over, I spent many, many hours, you know, making, sh trying to make sure that today's episode will come out really awesome, you know, especially the intro, because at the beginning of each show, since I was using the other intro song, um, it was kind of blocked, you know what I mean? So when you would listen to it on, on something like, uh, all right, so we got these onions, you know what, let's, uh, no, let's just. Just do, I forgot, we do it all together. All right, but anyways, whenever you're watching this or listening to this like on Twitch or what have you, or Facebook, the beginning part is kind of blocked because of uh, some copyright from the song that I got from YouTube, which I thought was safe to also use on, on Twitch, but apparently not. So I had to get another song and blah, and I did a whole intro and then I fixed the camera where I got like the zoom, 
now on the stove and all this other stuff. I went, I mean, I went to bed super late. I was uh, working on all that like till like eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night. And get every last bit. And um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like I was just, uh, just working on all this, right? And then today I start the show thinking, oh, all right, everything's gonna be great and wonderful. All the setup I did and all the work I did yesterday and yada da. And then before I know it, you know, well, you guys already saw the beginning of the show. Again, I, I hope, I hope for anyone that was watching out there that you guys were entertained. If you, if you guys are entertained, then I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I really don't care. You know what I mean? It was total, totally worth it. But if it came off as just a bad video, bad entertainment, bad, you know, bad uh, production, then yeah, that, that kind of pisses me off. But it's okay. You know, the good thing about doing this every day is that I can try again tomorrow and again the next day and the next day and we're going to continue until, you know. But again, the imperfections in in, in, uh, in what we do is what makes this fun as well. That's why I always enjoyed the kitchen and what really drove me to live, to work in a kitchen was, uh, I'm, so I'm going to get five hot dogs, all right, guys? Because I'm, a, I'm chunky and I want hot dogs. This is yummy food. And again, it's for me and the wife. And it's dinner. But anyways, what was I saying about, oh, let me get a, a bag real quick. Is this gonna fit in the Ziploc? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. But anyways, uh, yeah, like I was saying, you know, at the end of the day, um, that's why I got into the kitchen. When I left high school, when I was out of high school, when I was done with all that, you know, like most of us, you know, we had to like get a job, right? We had to like figure, figure out, right? Like where we were gonna go, what we were gonna do, all that shit, right? And I didn't, I, I could not, I could not be in an office. I could not live like that life that a lot of people live. I'd rather be squeezing hot dogs for a living inside a, a Ziploc bag. I forgot, this was only chorizo, let me just... Man, this is... Hold on. <laughs> you see, you gotta do things right the first time, otherwise you're gonna be working double, and triple, and quadruple. All right, so, big bag. I was just trying to save a big bag, save a few pennies, and I ended up throwing away a bag. See? So anyways, and I was like, man, I can't work in like an office or I can't work in like that kind of environment or that kind of, you know, suit and tie type shit. I need something that is insanely fun and, and going just crazy. Basically, you know, what you're seeing on the show, I mean, that's working in a kitchen or restaurant or anything like that. And to me, there was no other life. I mean, I was like, man, that's what I want to do. You know, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, constantly be enjoying my life and um, <clears throat> I forgot where I was going with all of that <clears throat> but yeah that's why I went into the kitchen because I was already working in kitchens and restaurants as I was a young kid and when I had when I left high school and I had to pick a career or a life or whatever I was like man get the fuck out of here man you know what I mean this what I'm doing now is already a million times better and um, yeah I mean that's why I'm in the kitchen again now you know what I mean I'm just like Let's do this, man. Let's uh, let's have some fun. So, you know, this meal that I'm showing you here, this is like a struggle meal. You know what I mean? This is a meal for anyone out there that has been going through or is currently going through some hard times economically. This is a go-to meal, man. And again, I'm making here enough for two people, um, but you can make as much as you want. It's basically the same ingredients, same cooking process, same everything. It's just, you know, depending on the amounts, it's going to depend on what you're going to get out of it. All right, so let me clean up real quick my uh, my green bleach rag. You know, get all this shit out of the way. Let me go throw this into the compost out back. Excuse me, camera person. Thank you, camera person. gonna do is that we're gonna come back here all right and we're gonna get started on the meal okay 
right? So let me see if I can get that set up real quick. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Hold on. Sorry guys, just bear with me one second while the camera turns on. It's the same GoPro, there we go, but for whatever reason. Can you guys see there? Okay, good, perfect. Perfect. Ready? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to get it. It's just harder to. All right, boom. I think we got it. And then we'll move this a little bit more this way. All right, awesome. Okay, cool. All right, hey, give me one second because I'm going to take a two second break. I'll be right back. Okay, like literally, give me one minute. I'll be right back. All right, one second, hold on. Mm. Mm. Shout out to you. All right, so in this one, you know, let's just okay. So let's switch over to the big camera. Now we're back here. I mean, not the big camera, the the GoPro set. So let's see, I'm just trying to. I want it, man, I hate it when it keeps going black. I gotta figure that out because like, uh, and, and I'm trying to also figure out the, the angle. I don't know why it's so whack. What's going on, man? Shit. So first thing we're gonna do is turn this guy on, all right? High, turn on high, all right? Get some olive oil, all right? We're gonna get some olive oil, as you guys can see there. We're gonna add that. Now we're gonna get these potatoes and we're gonna drain them. Um, now this is a quick and easy meal. In fact, so that's why I was like, you know what, let me get this together, let me throw this together in the pan. And once we get that cooking, then we can, uh, the light is better, right? Anyways, once we get this at least cooking, then we can move on to, um, I can do the dishes while this is kind of doing its thing on the side here. So, all right. And again, you can use a very, uh, whatever ingredients you want, whatever fat you want to use in here, you can use. I like olive oil. All right. I myself enjoy olive oil. So we're going to go with olive oil. Alright. 
So again, poor man's meal. You see how easy this is, right? Super easy, all right? I'm gonna leave the olive oil not far away, actually. Um, super easy. So we're just gonna let that heat up for a minute. It's heating up. Also, you know, this is my version of this. This is, uh, there are many, many variations of this dish, okay? And you can add, you know, whatever sausage you like. I like, again, the hard Spanish chorizo that you can see here. I like hot dogs. I like, you know, onions and, and potatoes, but you can add whatever you want. Some people add bacon, some people add like actual sausage, sausage, you know, American sausage, uh, breakfast sausage, you know, whatever. You can make this into like a breakfast hash. This is just a base recipe. And then from here, you can, you know, make a bunch of things. Okay, so we're starting to get a little hot. Hot enough, hot enough, all right? And we're just dumping all this in there. I mean, you can't get any easier, honestly. All right, this is, it cannot get any easier. That's it. And by the way, you know, the reason I, I should have just put it all in the, in the pan, you know, to begin with, you know, um, but I wanted to show you. Um, but it, you know, if you're cooking this on your own, you would probably, you know, just put it all in the pan. You know, you wouldn't dirty, the you know the extra pots and stuff that I did you know you probably just throw it all in there there's no there's no wrong or right answer all right and look and that's it okay as a matter of fact before we mix it before we mix it let's uh let's get the ingredients in there salts ingredient number one you already know salt in this case and this is going to cook a little longer we're using the rock salt okay because this is this has time for it to dissolve all right as it's cooking in there so this is a good, this is better salt. Okay, nice amount of salt because remember, it's a lot of potatoes in there. So potatoes need salt. All right, what else do they need? Pepper, but mainly salt. All right, everything in here needs pepper, but we definitely needed that salt. And there's gonna pepper, 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 pepper. You know, these pepper grinders are like hit or miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're good, uh, sometimes they're cheap. All right. And we're gonna go with the ingredients that I love, you know, the, the ingredients that I, I love so much. You know, we're gonna go with some Oregano. Oregano is always really good. The oils in oregano are super good for you. Thyme. The thyme is. Thyme is really good. And then we're gonna add a little bit of paprika. Again, you do you, you do you, boo. You add whatever you want. But in this case, we're going to add a little bit of paprika, which is going to give a little bit of that extra color. And last but not least, you're guessed it, some more olive oil. All right. Help all of that stick. And then we're going to toss it together. It's a little harder to toss in this thing here, but basically the same principles. All right, it's probably not going to work too well. All right, but that's it, we're just mixing it together. And then since we have potatoes in there, and they will take a while to cook, you know, you just kind of like, this is what, by the way, we're using on non, this non-stick pan, because this helps. And then all this is just gonna cook together, man, in a nice, delicious, yummy hash that you'll see. So, while that's cooking, it's time to do the dishes. So let's do the dishes real quick.
There we go. All right, so you guys can see everything there. No, this is rock salt. It's just any kind of rock salt. It doesn't really matter. So shout out to everyone out there. Shout out to everyone. Okay, okay. You're just reading some of the comments, guys. Reading the comments. Okay, so I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to put this on low, you know, so I can just kind of cook low and slow. I don't want it to burn or anything like that. So we're going to put this low and slow. This already smells beyond delicious. And so, you know, right now, besides the olive oil that's in there, um, there's also going to be um, oils that are going to be released from the hot dogs and the sausage. And it's going to kind of cook all together. So, all right, in the meantime, while this is cooking and doing its thing, we will be doing the dishes because we're not going to be just standing around. I mean, again, if you guys want to talk to me, ask me anything, go right ahead. Um, I can definitely answer. In the meantime, we're just going to do the dishes. So that's how we do here. You already know. Because, again, it's a real kitchen. And today, of all episodes, since we started off so rocky with the dog situation, and, and all that. By the way, I think I'm gonna have to start locking up Gizmo. Um, um, make sure he's sleeping in the room because he's he's up all night fucking around anyway. So might as well just. And he's sleeping most of the day. I think he just gets excited seeing me cook for whatever reason. And so therefore, because of that, we're gonna have to. You know, again, he's just sleeping as usual. Well, he sleeps at night. I mean, he sleeps during the day and and. Uh, and works all night long, you know, like a cat. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the dishes, all right? You guys can see everything there. Good, perfect, wonderful. So right now, you know, I, I can see what I'm cooking. It's right there. I'm doing the dishes right over here. All right, get all this uh, sort of squared away. So you see, I, I love, I love this double sink. That, this double sink is the best. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. If you guys have any request, if you guys have any kind of request, for any kind of uh, dishes or any kind of anything, you guys. Oh, camera went out. One second, guys. Hold on. See, I can't even take a two second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, guys. All right, so let me. I gotta. I gotta. I forgot. I gotta change the battery on this thing. Let me do that before I get too deep into the next thing. Make sure my make sure my hands are super dry, right? Anyway, shout out to everyone out there hanging out with me today. What's, David Rogers asked me, what is my favorite Mexican hot dog? None of them. None of them. They're all terrible. I haven't had a good Mexican hot dog. I'm not going to lie. Um, but um, the, the, the hot dogs I do get, um, I get them from Costco. And my God, they're so amazing. They taste almost like Nathan's hot dogs. I'm, they're American. Costco. I don't, I don't get, I mean, me and, uh, me and the neighbor, we share, uh, is they come in like packs of like 7,000 hot dogs? Um, 
So we share, you know, we share the hot dogs. But we, I love those hot dogs. They're so good. I'm, I'm a hot dog fan. I mean, you know, I'm, you know, it's American, American food, right? So I mean, I love hot dogs. But um, the thing is that I mean, it, it's just, it's. Hold on. Let me make sure we're secure here first. But at least when it comes to like the Mexican hot dog situation, the, the thing is, it's like, you know, think about it. Hot dogs are, first of all, hot dog sausage, you know, that whole thing kind of comes from like Germany, comes from like Northern Europe. Now, number one. Number two, hot dogs, that's the American version of that. That's our version. And now you're going to, you know, you come to Mexico and sure, they're dirt. They adopt Mexican, they adopt American culture by eating hot dogs and hamburgers, but... It's not the same, and so especially when it's something like processed, something that kind of comes from a factory, it's like when you go to the when you go to the American grocery store and you have like the the little taquitos or the little you know Mexican frozen burritos or whatever you know what I mean? Like they're good, they're all right, they're basically more terrible than good, but they're edible. Um, and so the same thing kind of goes with, with the hot dog out here. It seems like the hot dogs that are made out here, you know, they're made in like that, that same fashion. You know, they're made out of turkey or they're made out of like everything that you don't want your hot dog to be made out of. You want your hot dog to be made out of a pig and, and cow, you know, uh, butts and ears and eyeballs and tongues and, and, and you know, all, all the shit that hot dogs are actually made out of in the USA, that's what you want them to be made out of. Whatever it is that they put in there, who cares? Whatever. But that's that's the thing. And so unfortunately, you know, out here they just, you know, it's not the same. It's not eating. It's not the same he, having a turkey hot dog. And most hot dogs out here are like turkey hot dogs. What the, you know, who the what? You know what I mean? So hope that answers your question. So my favorite hot dog in, in Mexico is, a, is an American hot dog. All right, so that's got coming along nicely. Just trying to get the GoPro back on. By the way, shout out to you, David. I know, I think you sent me a message. Just I haven't been able to look at it yet. Just trying to, let me see. Yeah, 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 you sent me a voice message. I'll check it later. But hopefully, you already know what's up. I'm going to be, you already know, I already told you what's up. Okay, so, all right. David breaking the metaverse there, you know what I mean? Coming in through, um, <laughs> anyways, all right. <laughs> GoPro. All right, there we go. Oh no, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, sorry, I get confused. Is it better? All right, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Talking to myself here, okay, so. David, I'm glad you agree. I'm glad you know what I'm talking about. All right, so here, let's uh, let me let me show you real quick. If you can see here, you can see there's like all that little grease and oil coming down, you know, from from all the other stuff. The onions are releasing their own liquid and all this other stuff. So it's uh, cooking and doing its thing. It's not burning. It's not sticking. It's uh, just awesome. All right, so let's get back to those dishes. Shout out to everyone out there. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, before I rudely interrupted myself with the camera situation there, um, was it, yeah, you know what I mean, like, um, the live streams here, even though I'm trying to get it as professional and as uh, good as possible and all that sort of stuff, you know, the thing is that I'm also trying to, more than anything else, trying to convey what would actually happen, what would actually go on in your own household, in your own kitchen, and, and, and keep it and keep it as lighthearted as, as possible and fun and enjoyable and entertaining. And that's, that's like the whole idea behind the show, behind what I'm doing here. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. 
And so even doing the dishes, look, man. So the last couple days, I didn't do any dishes. Um, I did them afterwards. But I like, I, I, if I can, I like to do the dishes during the show because it'll show you really what it takes to do all this. Because a lot of people, you know, a lot of cooking shows, you know, they'll show you all the stuff. But then, you know, most people don't cook. And this is a reality. We've talked about this multiple times. A lot of people just don't cook because um, of the dishes. It's as simple as that, man. In fact, in the restaurant industry, in the restaurant industry, the reason we're able to get away with so much it, it, when it comes to so many things is because people really, all they want when they go out to eat is they don't want to clean up. They want to be served. They want to be, you get what I'm saying? They want to have that experience of just like eating and nothing else and not having to worry about the dishes and the cooking and the cleaning and the this and the that and all this other shit. I mean, that's basically who we cater to more than anything else. Yeah, sure, there's foodies and there's people that, that, that come in for, for other reasons, but for the most part, you know, people come in because they just don't want to do dishes or whatever. As, as crazy and stupid as that sounds. But that's the truth. And for anyone out there that goes to restaurants and is not a cook or a chef, I'm sure you can, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Look, even if you're a cook or a chef, you know, that's, you know, you know you can cook for yourself and you can do all that for yourself. Um, but you like to go out. You, you just want the food to be edible more than anything else. If the food is incredible, great, wonderful. Um, but you just want the food to be edible more than anything else. You just want to be served on. You don't want to, you don't want to cook. You don't want to do any of the cleaning. You don't want to do anything like that. So again, you know, going back to all that, that's what I like to do here. So you guys can see what's going on with everything. So you guys can also get an idea of how many dishes, you know, this is really going to take, you know, how long this is going to take. Look, so look at all that. Like, you see that the oil is nice and red. A lot of that red from the oil, in which is cooking these potatoes and cooking all this, is uh, from a lot of, you know, paprika, you know, the red oil from the chorizo, but also the, the little bit of paprika to give it that red color. And so really, we're slowly but surely cooking, all right? And then we'll turn up the heat in a little bit. Right now, we're just put it on low and slow, not low, medium, it's on medium, okay? All right, so let's get back to the dishes. But yeah, so, you know, hopefully that makes sense. You know, what uh, what I was just saying there about the whole restaurant. Uh, you know, why a lot of people like, you know, go out to eat to begin with. And so, yeah, that's why I'm doing the dishes. So that people can also see. And I mean, who knows? You know, you might even learn a thing or two about how I wash my dishes. And that'll help you, you know, wash your dishes even faster. Because, in fact, I don't know anyone out there, I don't know anyone that enjoys washing dishes, that enjoys washing dishes. If there's anyone out there that actually enjoys washing dishes, let me know. Um, and, I, and, I'll show, and I'll tell you where you can send your application. I'll feed you for free. You can have all the food you want. <laughs> but I'm taking applications. Taking applications on a dishwasher and uh, and producer. We need someone uh, behind the scenes. And by the way, I, I don't, you know what I mean, in a sense, I mean, I don't need anyone to help me with anything. The idea is to show you guys, if I can do all this on my own, there's no excuse for you. something like an assistant or something like that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of me showing you you know you know showing you how it really is because nobody out there has an assistant like you know so no one unless you got like a, like kids or something maybe you can teach your kids put your kids to work in fact that's why most people used to have kids back in the day is to put them to work free labor 
That is the reason to have kids, free labor. You know, maybe we, maybe, maybe we should start working on some kids, huh? Get some free labor up in this bitch. <laughs> no, but yeah, that free labor, I mean, you know, I say like a joke, but the reality is that that is what would teach kids, you know, values and, and things like what hard work is and earning money and, uh, and all these things that, you know, nowadays, you know, we're like, oh, how come more kids don't know these things or haven't learned these things as well? Because a lot of people just haven't taught it to, to their kids. Um, and that's it. You know, it's as simple as that. Tough love. I'm a big tough love guy. For anyone out there that knows me, tough love. That's that's the only way I know how to love, man. I, I'm a lover. I love a lot. I'm a big lover. But a lot of tough love. I am the tough love king. I'm also a softy, by the way. All right, so here we go. We're getting close here. All right, we're starting to, to make progress here. Basically, we're cooking this. We're trying to make sure that the potatoes cook. You know, the, the idea, more than anything else, is to make sure the potatoes cook. Oh, God damn it. Okay? The wife says it smells delicious. Hey. <laughs> More casting. So Anyway, shout out to everyone out there. Sorry about all that noise. Awesome, awesome. Just I was just reading the comments. I was just reading the comments. That's awesome. I'm glad that there's dishwashers out there that love to wash dishes. Tim Loco, I will definitely take you up on that from time to time. But yeah, the whole assistant thing, at the end of the day, you know, yeah, I would love it. But, you know, the idea behind the show as well is, is to show people, to show people that don't have an assistant, that don't have a partner, that don't have literally anybody. It's just them, you know, doing whatever they got to do, um, that they can do it themselves as well. That, you know, not only can they do it themselves, but, you know, they can cook for multiple people and they can do a lot of cool things. The world is your oyster, right? As the saying goes. So, all right, the potato stuff over there is almost done. Or not almost done, but we're getting close to the crunch time, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I am not a big fan of washing dishes, I'll tell you that. Christian hates it even more. I don't blame her. Um, but yeah, when I go to restaurants, man, I'm not going to lie, um, I'm not really look. look, man, if I go to certain restaurants and I'm going there for the food, then yeah, I'm going to have high expectations and I'm going to be very critical and yada, yada, yada. But for the most part, what I'm looking for as a chef, chef, you know what I mean? Like me as a cook, as a whatever, I am looking for the best possible experience ever. And sometimes that comes in a little shack. And it's not about the food, it's about the experience, about how they treat you, how, how uh, you know, how, the customer service, man. To me, it's more about the customer service than anything else. That's why I like to go out. Because I can, I can make all that shit at home. I mean, it's not about that. It's, it's about all, all the other intangibles for me. That's for me, though. And, um, and uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just... Uh, in fact, the, my favorite restaurant, my favorite restaurant or my favorite place to go or do anything like that, honestly, is home cooking. Whenever somebody invites me to, to you know, to like home cooking, and especially someone that knows how to cook or whatever, 
But honestly, it doesn't matter whether they can cook or not. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I mean? Like, but the whole idea of someone cooking dinner for me, um, the whole because again, I know what it takes. I know what it is. I know it's a lot of love and passion, and that can go on and on. And you're really putting everything about you into what you're doing. So when somebody cooks for me, no, the more humble, the better. But when somebody cooks for me, man, the home cooked meal, that's the best. And when somebody tells me, oh. I just kind of threw this together. I know it's nothing like you because it ain't nothing like uh, they, what is it like? And you probably won't like it because you're a chef and you're this and you're that. But like, I'm gonna tell you, man, like the best meals I've ever had in my whole entire life have been home cooked meals. 100%, don't even, because you cannot, you cannot under any circumstance replicate that thing. In fact, what a lot of chefs do more than anything else. All right, let me let me flip it back over here. But anyways, but what a lot of chefs you know struggle with or go are what a lot of chefs in restaurants struggle with more than anything else is that they are actually trying to trying to actually replicate. Let me move this here. Anyways, but they're really trying to actually replicate um, the, that home cooked meal, that home cooked flavor, that home cooking more than anything else that's really i mean when you go to some of the top restaurants top chefs top anything what they're really trying to do is that they're really deconstructing the most humble of meals the most you know a uh, grandma food the most you know um authentic you know way that grandma made it but they're trying to make it look five star ten star whatever but that's basically it man you know what I mean? like if you look at like the, the best chefs the best restaurants out there it's basically an ele elevated version of grandma's recipes you know it just happens that the guy that's cooking it the chef is also a fucking badass cook artist you know when it comes to all that so that helps you know um yeah this, i'm not gonna be able to flip that like that i already have two potatoes on the floor there but yeah anyways yeah this is kind of almost done you know we're approaching doneness here I'm making such a mess on the floor today. I'm making such a mess everywhere today. Fucking disaster. Jesus Christ. But yeah, you know, that's that's the idea. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's art, man. And so that's why I like home-cooked meals more than anything else. More than any restaurant, more than anything, because it's actually coming from the source. It's coming from actually from grandma, you know? You can't beat that. From grandma, it's coming from you. It's, it's you know, you're cooking grandma's recipe. You're cooking your recipe. You're you're cooking with all you know everything, everything. You're putting everything about you into that. And no matter how it comes out, that's not the point. That is not the point at all, honestly. The point is the fact that you know you you know you put your heart and soul into something for humble meat, for just meat, for my dumb ass. You know what I mean? Or for anybody. So, anyways, I hope that rant made some sense. Hope you guys, uh, hope it wasn't too much there, but I hope you guys get the idea. But yeah, the more humble the meal, the more delicious it usually is. In fact, um, I mean, you know this, David, and I think some of you guys in the audience know this, but I mean, some of the best meals we've actually had, even out here, have been in the most surprising places. You know, it's like somebody that cooked something for you, one of the neighbors that made something, something that came from a little stand next to a, a gas station. Um, you know, that restaurant that we went to after the cenotes, and I can go on and on, you know what I mean? A lot of times it's just the, the most unexpected surprise from the most humblest of locations and that's the thing because it's not just about the food it's about everything around you you know that saying that saying about you know food just tastes better when you got your toes in the sand that's a hundred percent man you know and it's not necessarily toes in the sand but just the idea just that whole idea of food does taste better when you're in certain locations in certain places in certain whatever like the movie theater, there's no there's no better popcorn on earth than movie theater popcorn. Even though you can probably make a million times better popcorn at home, 
This is you can't, you cannot replicate the movie theater experience as much as you try. You know, unless you're like a super uber billionaire and you build an actual, um, an actual movie theater within your home. Uh, you know, uh, including you know the popcorn attendant and all that crap. You know, other than that, you know what I mean, you're, 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 it's going to be very hard for you to replicate the same exact thing. You know what I mean? At home, so yeah. One second. Hold on. I'm going to take a quick. Hold on a second, one second. starting to almost be done. You know, the potatoes are almost cooked. Sorry, put it on the wrong side there. So you see the hot dogs are getting crispy, the chorizo is getting crispy, the potatoes are getting nice and cooked and yummy, and it's just turning into this yummy, delicious, beautiful hash. Okay, and that's it. I mean, basically right now, all we're doing is waiting for the potatoes to finish cooking. All right, so we're just gonna give it a little longer there. But you guys, you guys can already see it's shaping up into something crazy delicious. I'm gonna read some comments real quick. I agree, the best food was at Grandma Sauce I met her. Yeah, that's right. Both my kids know how to cook, wash dishes, and split wood. There you go, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, man, you know, just learning the basics. I mean, I learned a lot of the stuff that I know from, you know, was my parents, my grandparents, you know, things like that. You know, I came from one of those households, you know, a Hispanic household where you know, just gotta learn all kinds of shit. I remember, I remember when I was a kid, not a kid, but like, you know, early young teenager, I remember my dad teaching me basic things, you know, not just the cooking and stuff, you know, but all the things like how to clean and wash, um, wash clothes, how to do all kinds of shit like that. And I remember it's like, oh, but dad, but why do I gotta do this? What do I, what do I have to learn this if mom does it? You know, if, uh, you know what I mean? If I'm gonna marry somebody and they'll do it, you know, why do I got to learn how to do this? And he basically told me, he's like, yeah, but you're not going to have a woman forever. And that's not what you want a woman for. That's not the woman is there for. You know, she's not your slave. She's not your this. So you got to learn how to do all this. You got to learn how to be self-sufficient. You got to learn how to da 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 da, -da. And, uh, and yeah, sure enough. No, no, don't tell me that, bro. Is that for reals? Don't tell me that, Lodak.
Fuck, man. I guess you should have listened to Mitch, huh? You're fucked up. Well, hey, it's a good thing you're watching this, right? Because, you know, you can make this for yourself as well. Yeah, yeah, I just had to put in a quick little cell loader, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you for the alarm. <laughs> Thank you, Lodak. Lodak, man, you're worth your weight in gold. Literally. How much you weigh? <laughs> alright, alright, let's, uh, let's get back to the, the meal. Let's get back to the... Thank you, seriously, bro. Otherwise, it would have probably been worse. See, we, we, got, uh, we got this kind of already nice and going. It's uh, getting nice and crispy, all right? Let's not mix it too much more because otherwise we're gonna be making mashed potatoes. But we're, we're almost there, you know? So how do we check? How do we check for doneness? Easy, easy, easy. We, uh, we go to like the thickest potato. This goes for anything. Thickest piece of chicken, thickest piece of whatever. So in here, like the biggest potato. This one, okay, it's still a little hard. So a little, again, not all the way. Oh. <laughs> but just enough. Just enough that we still need to cook it a little longer. In fact, what I'm gonna do here, and now I'm gonna cover it. All right, again, we're keeping an eye on this. Yeah, so we're going to cover it for a minute. Any Anyone out there in the chat, you guys have any comments, anything you guys want to want to talk about real quick, any kind of anything, let me know. You know, I'm here to answer a few questions. Um, we already did the pudding uh, ahead of time. You know, we made some vanilla pudding that tomorrow we're going to turn into a creme brulee. All right. And then uh, right now, all we're doing is just cooking some... Uh, some a poor man's meal, just some hot dogs and potatoes and all that good stuff. So right now I covered it for a minute because I wanted to, all right, hold on, let me get something off screen here. But anyways, I covered it for a minute because I wanted to kind of like steam a little bit so that the potatoes could kind of like just finish off doing their thing. Um, but even if they stick a little bit, it's gonna make a little bit of a crust, but I wanna leave it alone because if I touch it too much more, if I mix it around too much more, I'm just gonna end up making more mashed potatoes than anything else, so anyways. But yeah, thank you, Lodak. I appreciate that. Man, what the hell happened, bro? Did I miss something? Jesus, man. So I guess we're going to go all the way down to 40000 before we head back up, huh? Jesus, man. Fucking disaster. I mean, I don't know. At this point, I think we're already in a bear market. I think that the, the, the Bitcoin crypto market, I know that's not what this channel is about, but we know, again... I already said it. We're going to be talking about anything and everything on this channel. So, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. But, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I think that this this market, the, the crypto market, for the for the time being, we're probably going to be in some sort of bear market. I hope I'm wrong, but probably not. And, um, and on top of that, you know what I mean? Um, it's heavily manipulated, man. At this point, I think that the markets are really crazy manipulated. And all we can do is uh, continue to... You know buy and huddle just like we would do with gold and silver and not worry about it because look right now buying gold and silver you know it's not moving up or down but again that's the idea you know what i mean it's not moving up or down everything else is you know even dollars even when you go to the store and you're gonna go buy something and that can go on and on so even at that now yeah sure bitcoin has a lot of volatility but once it settles you know meaning once the the system you know kind of implodes upon itself you know this thing will settle and it'll you know achieve its true value just like gold and silver will we'll be all right so it is what it is but see look it's sort of like david out there david's not a big bitcoin guy or crypto guy he's more into the, the stock market and there's nothing wrong with that all the markets you know they have their their thing you know they got their value but the reality is is that when you're trading the markets you know the actual stock markets you know you got to be not everyone is approved to trade. You get a lot of uh, more taxes, you know, um, you know, time taken out of your winnings. Um, you know, again, you know, like I said, you know, the whole idea that 
anyone can just trade is not true. You know, um, if you really want to do some heavy trading outside of your 401k, you know, you're going to get approved by certain individuals out there, certain companies and certain, you know, whatever, in order for that whole thing to really materialize. So it's not like anyone can just trade. And then, like I said, you know, when it comes to, you know, all the taxes or the, um, you know, all the other things that you got to do, it's not, you know what I mean? Unless you're just planning on just letting it sit there, um, which again, there's risk in that on its, on its own as well. So um, to me, I like the flex, I like the flexibility. All right, here we go. I like the flexibility that I get. I like the flexibility that I get out of uh, crypto. Um, and um, you know, again, at the end of the day, any investment that you make, you know, you gotta like be believing in the technology. You gotta be believing in the investment. You gotta be believing in in, in all that stuff. So to me. You know, I believe, again, this is my opinion. Everyone has their own. It's not financial advice, it's just cooking advice. Um, but at least me personally, I got, I have a lot more faith in things like gold, silver, Bitcoin than I do the US government or the dollar. Now again, the US dollar and the, the government, I mean the US dollar, the US government, all these things are gonna be around for a long time. They're not going anywhere, yada, yada, yada. But you know, just, uh, just saying, just throwing it out there. You know, this is my, and, and like I said, you know, not everybody has the ability to trade. And then if you're trading on, and then the people, um, like for example, me, and there's a lot of people like me out there that would like to trade. The only thing that we can do to really trade is trade on apps like Robinhood or whatever other app like that. And to, I mean, come on, you know what I mean? They're, they're raping you, you know what I mean? Every time that you do any kind of anything. So, um, yeah, don't get me started on all that, you know what I mean? Um, so, I mean, to me, you know, invest in yourself. You know, this is why I'm doing this channel. You know what I mean? This is why I do this. Um, the financial stuff is just to make sure that I can continue doing this. But, you know, right now, you know, it, man, other people are, are looking at the markets right now after load. I said, hey, the markets are crashing. And they're like, oh my God. And they're really like shitting bricks. Look, man, I got a lot of bills that I got to pay in the next few days. And right now, this is the worst timing possible for this to happen. But I'm, at the same time, I'm like, well, you know what? Fuck it. Let me sell what I got here. Let me do what I got there. And then just kind of like take the hit, take the loss. But at the end of the day, I know full really well that if I would have kept this in any other asset, especially like dollars, I would be losing a lot more money, a lot more money. In fact, I wouldn't even have, you know, what I have now. And, and again, same with you and same with everyone that has their money parked elsewhere so that's kind of like the idea there look at christian i believe i can fly by the way you know we got christian out there you know she has her own little she bought dogecoin and uh well actually i gave her dogecoin and she bought ethereum hopefully she didn't sell it well actually <laughs> hopefully yeah hopefully she doesn't sell it now because it'll probably be at a loss now but she bought ethereum a while ago not a, i mean like a, a couple months ago or whatever All right, so we're still waiting on this back there to kind of finish. It's almost done. Um, as soon as it's done, we're gonna have our professional taste tester come out and, and taste it. Yeah, Lodak. Like Lodak is at full profit. You haven't bought in a while. Yeah, I mean, same as me, kinda. You know what I mean? I'm mostly at profit, but the thing is that I, I a lot of, I, I still get paid in crypto. I get paid in dollars, in which I gotta transfer and I gotta turn into crypto. So I'm constantly buying, but at the end of the day, I'm constantly winning. You know what I mean? You already know what's up, Lodak. But yeah, anyone that's just buying now or getting into the market now, when we're talking about crypto, for example, or basically anything. But yeah, it's 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 not good. Anytime that you see any kind of bump or hiccup, you're you're shitting bricks. But if you bought, you know, whatever you bought at a low price, you really don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? You're just making less profit today than you did yesterday. Hiv Loco says, I am trying to be patient with my Bitcoin. I cashed out a bunch earlier due to a tip you gave me. I don't even know what tip I gave you, but I'm glad it worked. I'm glad I can help you. But yeah, same as me, man. I remember back during Christmas, you know, I was hoping for a better Christmas, but then I saw what was happening with the markets and I said, you know what? Let me let me, uh, let me me not risk it. I don't need the risk at this moment. Let me cash out some here now. You know what I mean? Like in early December or before December. Man, thank God I did that. You know, it definitely helped me save a bunch of Satoshis, you know? So anyways, 
shout out to everyone out there that's buying t-shirts and sending donations and helping out this whole scenario too by the way because i always forget to, to give a shout out to everyone out there to help support the show all the people on patreon all the people that i have you know uh, supporting the show through other means and ways fucking love you guys big hug and uh the best to you and your fam all right so we're getting uh, close here you can hear the noise has changed all right all right so we're basically almost done like i said we're just waiting for the potatoes to finish cooking but we're we're done we're done you know we're done so look it's like a nice potato hash look at how delicious that looks you see we're starting to get a little crispy on the potatoes there look let me show you see We're almost there. We're probably like two minutes away. Two minutes away from finished product. Dinner will be ready in two minutes. <laughs> and that's it. We're just trying to get that last little bitty bit of crisp on top. And we're good to go. Bring on Gizmo. Yeah, now, now Gizmo. You know, that guy. Bad boy. Bad, bad boy. All right? Hold on a second. All right. So... We're gonna just, uh, we gotta get our uh, official taste tester coming out here, all right? And she's gonna give us uh, her opinion on how this came out. So let's uh, let's serve some up real quick. Okay. So we're done, all right? We're just basically done. The residual heat will continue finishing this off. So look at that. Gonna give a little taste test, all right? Because, you know, we're, gonna, we're not going to eat now. It's still too early. We, we actually have to go. We actually have work to do. So we got a little bit of uh, some yummy. We got some little potato, little chorizo, little hot dog, you know. Little onion, little potato. We got the whole nine in there so she can have a little bit of a yummy, yummy taste. Yeah, listo. All right. And that's it. We're, we're done. How beautiful is that? What do you think about that? What do you think about the the hash? This stuff, huh? All right. So now we're gonna have uh, our beautiful assistant, and we got Gizmo making his way out here. What can I say? <coughs> <laughs> Muy caliente. But yeah, I mean, I like to have an assi my assistant here, you know, uh, try this out because, uh, you know, it's kind of a little biased if I eat it. So I'm going to have someone that's even more biased to eat it. Because mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be harder on it on myself than she is. Yeah, they're bueno. They're rico. Buy, uh, David's like, buy Mexican real estate. Yeah, that's a good investment, too. I said, yeah, we're working on the money to get the, the real estate. And Gizmo's like, I want some. And you ain't getting nothing. That's good. No, it's bad. Mm. 
esquema Guismo Look at this guy <laughs> So you like it? You good? Nice. Okay. And then basically to serve this up, you know, what I would do, um, you know, I would serve myself a nice little bowl, you know, or just, you know, just serve all that up in one big plate and then fry a few eggs. All right. I would literally fry a few eggs. No, sorry, I was waiting for somebody to come real quick. Anyways, just fry a few eggs and then... Anyways. Anyway, so yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, you know, fry a few eggs and throw it on top of the hash. And like I said, this is something that you can kind of make for breakfast, make for lunch, make for dinner. It doesn't matter. You can eat eggs anytime. You can eat all these ingredients. Yeah, you want a little more? She liked it. That's good. It's always great to see her go back, as you know. No Coke. Coke is bad. Yeah, we're trying to get over our Coke addiction, all right? Um, going into the end of last year, you know, we were drinking a lot of Coke. And it's, you know, it's not helping my girlish figure. And for her, well, she stays the same always, but it's not that. It's just, uh, you know, we don't want her to turn, like, diabetic and shit, you know? So. Oh, look, she got a bunch of the little cut of pop dogs, all right? I get it fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you loved it. And I think that's it. So, and then we got the, you know, again, let's, uh, let me show you the, the other thing that we made. And this still needs to cool down, all right? So remember, we also made the vanilla pudding, AKA. Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me. Yeah. You got gizmo in the way there. Why is he pega por una coca? Gizmo, get out of the way! Don't be laying down in the middle of the kitchen. Get, get, get out of here. Oi. Move. Anyway, so we got the vanilla pudding, all right, as you guys can see here, all right, that we made, all right, earlier today. And we're tomorrow we're gonna finish it. Tomorrow we're gonna turn this into a uh, creme brulee, you know what I mean? We're just basically gonna make a nice little candy coating, sugary, yummy goodness over the top of this. But with this, we still gotta wait on this to, to harden. <laughs> um, it's still not quite there you know what i mean it needs to kind of like uh, settle overnight more than anything else i mean you could eat it now but you know yeah yeah you know, it's just better later it's better tomorrow when we do the sugar on top so you already know what's up if if you want to see how this looks tomorrow how we finish this off tomorrow and we put the little candy coating on top and if you want to see what we're going to be making tomorrow in which you know we're going to be making the ultimate blt all right do you know what a blt is or no you never had a bacon lettuce tomato Look at that. She's in for a surprise. She's in for a treat. So we're making bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwiches tomorrow. All right, we're gonna try and make the best possible bacon, lettuce, tomato. Um, I know she's never had it. Gizmo's never had it. I'm mad at Gizmo. I'm... By the way, I never get mad at him, all right? He's, uh, she's the one that always gets mad at him and I'm always, you know, she's the bad cop, I'm the good cop, but today, Today, I'm SWAT team, motherfucker. You know, this fucking... Anyways, so... <laughs> By the way, if you want to know what happened, just look at the beginning of the show and that shit show, right? and you'll see exactly what happened. But um, we're also going to be cooking some Spam tomorrow, right? So I got a can of Spam. She's never had Spam as well. I haven't had Spam in like 100 years um, since World War II. So um, I have... What? <laughs> so we're going to make some Spam. 
I know, right? Such a boomer. Um, so we got some spam, and we got some bacon, and we're gonna be making spam LTs, and we're gonna be making making BLTs, all right? And we might even make a spam TLC. BLT, and we might even that's right, TLC. We might even be making some spam BLT, but probably not. I think we're just gonna make a. Uh, because it's too salty. I realize that later. But we're going to make spam sandwiches and we're going to make BLTs and we're going to eat them with some beans, all right? So, the beans that we made yesterday, all right? So, again, you know, we're going to make sure that, uh, you know, what we do on this show, you know, we're not just making completely different meals every day, which we, can, we are, we are. But what I'm saying is that we're not going from, like, beans to making lasagna to making, like, all these huge things. It's like, what am I going to do with all this food? It's the same thing with you. Unless you got a family of, like, five or six or eight people in which all that food is going to get eaten like that, most people, just it's one person, maybe two, maybe three. All right? And so we're just trying to make things that not only, uh, you know, like beans where you can make at the beginning of the week and then eat throughout the week but then we're making other things that are quick and easy and simple meals that anyone can make on a budget or not even on a budget but just simply on a you know what i mean uh just someone that you know people don't know how to cook or don't have enough time or don't have enough energy to put into all this and this is a way that you can put the same amount of energy that you would put into going through the drive-through but actually make a better yummy delicious meal that not only is going to make you feel better here but make you feel better on the whole you know what i mean because you accomplished something you did something and you're eating healthy and i can go on and on so you already know what's up guys if you like this kind of content you enjoy this kind of stuff you already know what to do just go and click all the links down below don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit the bell icon um follow me on youtube if you're not following me on youtube because on youtube that's where you get um, the schedule for the upcoming week, you know what I'm cooking, you get to see uh, recipes and you know interact with me a little more, leave comments and all that stuff, but it doesn't matter where you're watching this on, whether you're watching me on Facebook or you're watching me on uh, on Twitch or you're watching me on DLive, we welcome you and love you. By the way, shout out to all the new viewers and all the new listeners and all the new, or just viewers, all the new viewers out there. I see you out there, guys. I see you. And thank you very much and uh, that's it. I think we're done. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bye.